Hello and welcome to another Bunny and Teddy video diary and this is part four, the final part of how we do YouTube in which we've been looking behind the scenes at the channel showing you how we do YouTube and trying to inspire you to go and do the same. In this part, the final part, we'll be looking at creating a video, editing the video and uploading it to YouTube. In the editing part of this video you will see me edit the first bit of the next video that's going to appear on the channel so stay tuned for that but in the meantime let's get straight into the first bit about creating the video this type of video as you can see is completely unscripted I am thinking as I video it but you may want to write a script which I normally do do or a storyboard something similar to bring it all together as to what you want to put into the video and then it's all about the setting this setting as you can see this is our lounge I have a normal background you've got books here the door back there but it's it's set up so you can have a bit of a view about something behind me but not to distract you too much away from me other settings if you're outside you've got to think about the weather the lighting of course I'm, I'm having to work with cloudy skies at the moment so I've set the lighting up here uh, one more important thing to think about for the camera itself if you're not using a phone is batteries and memory card make sure the memory cards clear enough to get footage on and make sure your battery or batteries are fully charged and raring to go but creating the video it's completely down to you then and as I say if you haven't got a script like I haven't at the moment then you've got to think off the top of your head what you want to put into the video but this video is pretty ordinary sort of thing anyway think about all those things and get going so on to the second part and that's editing the video once you've got all your footage what you're gonna do with it you've got your memory card full of stuff well, I take the memory card out of this camera. I'm shooting on the Canon today and I would take the memory card out and I have a memory card reader in the PC. So into the slot it goes and off come the segments of video onto an external hard drive then they can be moved across to the library of the editing suite and this is what that looks like so this is the editing suite i use it is corals pinnacle studio 22 ultimate and it is quite an old version now because you can get version 26 but i can't afford to go up to that version so i've stuck with 22 which is quite adequate for what i use it for nothing really too tasking there's no, there's only a few functions that i use on it anyway um, and you can you can go into really in depth as you can see with the screen here you can go into a lot of detail but i don't so for our video as you can see we I only use three tracks we always start a video with the opening titles and the opening titles are created using a website called Canva please check out Canva for anything really you don't have to use it for a video we use it for thumbnails as well as tiles like the opening sequence to our videos we've used it for the Q&A the second Q&A that we did uh, we've done as I say thumbnails you can see one or two thumbnails in our Turkish series so check out Canva the website and you won't be too disappointed with what you can see there the opening titles then as normal <laughs> that's the opening titles and when it gets to sort of like midway I tend to edit it down as soon as it actually shows everything uh, that you see there in text I usually cut it there and carry on with the video I haven't done just for this purpose of showing you so that's the opening titles you probably heard the music uh, in the background and that's the third track there and as the video goes in and I'll just pull the timeline track along there to where I, you'll hear the music 
slowly fade away and this is this part here this part here fades the music out because the next track is called Forte Laser and that is quite literally from the audio library of YouTube and that is our usual cooking or food music so that then carries on throughout the video the little green line is the volume so as you can see it's dropped quite significantly to minus 20 that's that bit there and on this one it's at zero we're going to keep that at zero so you can hear me clearly above the music the top track is a label this label here is the date of when we started the video well recorded the video should I say and I can't show you using the software now so here's a uh, screenshot of that this is the label that you saw at the top on track one and this is how you can create it this is just a screenshot of it so on the right hand it says text settings so you can change the text there you make it bold etc you got your font and size these things here altered the face of it as well and all this sort of thing don't really use that too much down there you can play it through to see how it looks on the screen you've got uh, different settings for how it looks or in, indeed if you want to do a bit of an animation to it you can fade it in and out you can do all sorts of things with the label there and once you're all right with it then you can just click OK and it goes back to how it looks in the video so that's the label there on the video and it appears like a green block there in track one and you can put pictures I mean you probably see pictures on our videos you probably see it earlier because I'll probably put in one or two imageries while I'm talking and you, as I say you can put them anywhere on the screen as the label is here so that's pretty useful then it's all about exporting the video once you've edited it so we click export I'm hoping this is going to show up okay there's export and basically you've named it something you've saved it obviously to your hard drive or whatever and you've set this up there it's going to go on my d drive which is the destination there and i shall start exporting i shan't take start exporting obviously as it is it's going to take up seven percent of my disk space it's going to be over seven gigs once it's exported it will save whether you want to play it back or not uh, i tend to do so just to make sure it looks okay that's basically it so here we are at our channel on youtube and we're going to go straight up here to where it says create and then we're going to upload video it takes a while to come up there we go and it's just to kind of click on the select files bit i've already selected one of these dash cam clips to go in there as our uploaded video just to show you so select your file and there it is being uploaded choose a catchy title one that's quite literally will get youtube to suggest your video to the viewer when they search for a particular video it's all algorithmed etc with youtube next up put that same title in the description at the top and then describe a bit more about the video what you're going to see obviously you can put links in there get everything in that description that you think will be necessary to get YouTube to suggest it to viewers to look at your video you can upload your own thumbnail I suggest creating thumbnails using Canva it's best to probably create your own but as you can see YouTube does suggest three there from the video that you're uploading next up you can select a playlist that it, you can put it in um, we've got quite a few there uh, to choose from it's not made for kids as most videos won't be and to show more you are showing whether you're going to get promoted uh, a promotion or like a product placement sponsorship or endorsement there you got automatic chapters so if you do have segments of video YouTube will see that you're changing subjects as you're going through your video so it will automatically put in chapters according to what your video content is it's quite clever it's got automatic places if there are any involved there tags they're very important anything in 
in your video must have a tag and just click the comma and there it is as a tag but I can put in cars, vans, lorries, crash, any, any word that will capture YouTube's algorithm to suggest your video to people again. Uh, obviously it's English, the recording date, well I'm going to put today's date as I'm doing it today which is the 5th of May, standard YouTube license and then it's in travel and events and there's lots of categories there to choose from to put your video in. Allow all the comments because good or bad it's you know worth getting some feedback. Next tab is the video elements. Now I tend to do now add an end screen. I used to create my own but then it took time to do it. It's easy to do it this way and as you can see they give you templates to do an end screen with which is pretty good and it will suggest where the end screen starts along this line here. I tend to alter it so it comes in line with where I want it to go and that is at right at the very end of the video where it's just a blank screen. I put five seconds of blank screen at right at the end so that the end screen can be seen. But we're not going to put one in obviously. We're going to discard that. Other things there, subtitles and cards. I've not bothered with any of that at all. Next it's just telling me that copyright stuff uh, and checks are being made at the minute. Uh, there's not a lot more there. Uh, that is there already really. It's just showing you that things are moving along. And at the end here you, well I basically do all our videos publicly. You can choose who you want to watch the video so you can do it privately. You can link anybody to watch the video there. Give them a link to it so it's unlisted. A link will be presented and you can use that link to give to people. But I do it publicly obviously for our channel and then you can schedule it if you want to. I publish any time of the day, any day of the week nowadays. I don't really care when it goes up but you can schedule it if you want to. If you've got a particular time when your subscribers know that you're doing a video but if they're clicking the bell then they shouldn't need to be, you know, it shouldn't be done this way really scheduling it if they're clicking the bell which I suggest you do because there's going to be three new videos coming up soon. So click subscribe and the bell. So that's that. We're not going to do any of that obviously. I'm going to cancel saw the upload and we're back in the room again and that's the full extent of all our channel so there we have it guys that is how we do youtube thanks for watching for those who have watched all four episodes if not they're quite literally the last three videos we put up so you can't miss them on the channel i'm sure i not bother linking them at all in the description as i say just go to our channel bunny and telly video diaries and they'll be there if you want to watch what i was editing in this video I will be editing it properly very soon for it to go up very soon so click subscribe click the bell to be notified of that video coming up and the other two to follow it and any subsequent video after that leave us a comment as well we don't get many comments any comment will do that'll be great so until the next video coming up soon bye for now